How to Promote Your Personal Brand by Life Success Introduction in a world where your personal brand determines much of your opportunities, mastering the art of self-promotion is not just valuable, it's essential. However, promoting oneself effectively and ethically can feel like walking a tightrope. How do you shine a light on your accomplishments without coming across as arrogant? How can you stand out in a sea of voices without shouting? This book aims to guide you through the nuanced art of self-promotion, helping you navigate this journey with grace, confidence, and strategy. Chapter 1. Understanding the Value of Self-Promotion Imagine standing in a vast library where every book represents a person in the professional world. Some books catch your eye immediately because of their prominent placement and eye-catching covers, while others, possibly containing equally valuable content, gather dust on the shelves. In this metaphor, self-promotion is the art of ensuring your book is not just visible, but also appealing to those who walk into the library. This chapter delves into the intrinsic value of self-promotion, exploring how it can transform your career, enhance your personal growth, and expand your professional network. The Foundation of Visibility In a world saturated with talent and ambition, visibility is not just about being seen. It's about being recognized for your unique contributions and qualities. Consider the story of Sarah, a graphic designer who felt her work was going unnoticed at her firm. By starting a design blog, sharing her projects on social media, and speaking at local design meetups, Sarah not only showcased her talent, but also established herself as a thought leader in her field. Her increased visibility led to new client projects, a promotion, and invitations to speak at larger conferences. Sarah's story exemplifies how self-promotion, rooted in showcasing genuine talent and passion, can lead to recognition and opportunities that might otherwise remain out of reach. Building Credibility and Trust Self-promotion goes beyond mere visibility. It's also about building credibility and trust within your industry. This involves sharing not just your successes, but also your learning experiences and failures, which can often be more enlightening for your audience. Take the example of Alex, a young entrepreneur whose startup faced significant challenges in its early days. By openly discussing these challenges and the lessons learned in industry forums and newsletters, Alex not only humanized his journey, but also demonstrated resilience and a willingness to learn. This honesty and transparency helped build trust with peers, investors, and potential customers, illustrating how credibility is a crucial component of effective self-promotion. Expanding your professional network. Networking is a natural extension of self-promotion. It's not just about increasing the number of contacts in your phone, but about creating meaningful connections with individuals who can offer support, advice, and opportunities. Effective self-promotion can turn you into a magnet for like-minded professionals. Consider Priya, who leveraged her personal blog to share insights on emerging trends in digital marketing. Her posts, often peppered with personal anecdotes and forward-thinking analysis, attracted the attention of industry veterans and newcomers alike. This not only expanded her professional network, but also led to collaborative projects, mentorship roles, and a significant consultancy opportunity. Priya's experience demonstrates that when self-promotion is executed with authenticity and value, it can attract a community of professionals eager to connect and collaborate. Self-promotion, when approached with intention and authenticity, can unlock doors to opportunities that might seem out of reach. It's about more than just making noise. It's about making your voice heard in the chorus of the professional world. By ensuring visibility, building credibility, and expanding your network, you can elevate your personal brand to new heights. Remember, in the vast library of the professional world, your book deserves to be seen, appreciated, and read by those who can truly benefit from its contents. Let this chapter be the first step in your journey to mastering the art of self-promotion, setting the stage for a fulfilling and impactful career. Chapter 2. Crafting Your Personal Brand Imagine yourself as a brand. What words, images, and emotions do you wish to evoke in others when they think of you? Your personal brand is the unique cocktail of skills, experiences, and personality traits that you offer the world. It's what sets you apart in a crowded marketplace and makes people choose you over someone else. 
In this chapter, we dive into the intricacies of crafting a personal brand that not only stands out, but also truly represents who you are and what you stand for. Identifying your unique value proposition. At the heart of every strong personal brand is a clear unique value proposition of this is the distinct advantage that you offer, which sets you apart from your peers. Identifying your of requires a deep dive into what you do best, how you do it differently, and why it matters to your audience. Take Maria, a digital marketer specializing in small businesses. Her of P is her ability to increase online visibility for small businesses on a minimal budget. She identified this by reflecting on her most successful projects, gathering feedback from clients, and analyzing the specific strategies that led to her successes. By clearly articulating this of in her professional profiles and pitches, Maria immediately distinguishes herself from competitors who may focus on larger businesses or have a different approach to digital marketing. Understanding your audience. Knowing your audience is critical in shaping a personal brand that resonates. Who are you trying to reach? What challenges do they face and how can your skills and knowledge help solve them? Understanding your audience allows you to tailor your messaging and engage with them more effectively. Consider the case of Jordan, a freelance graphic designer who specializes in branding for eco-friendly startups. By understanding that his target audience values sustainability and innovative design, Jordan emphasizes his expertise in creating visually compelling, environmentally conscious brand identities. This not only attracts the right clients, but also ensures that his personal brand speaks directly to their values and needs. Crafting an authentic personal narrative. Your personal narrative is the story of your journey, including your successes, failures, and the lessons learned along the way. This narrative forms an emotional connection with your audience, making your personal brand more relatable and memorable. Sophia, a career coach, uses her personal narrative of transitioning from a corporate job to entrepreneurship to connect with her audience. By sharing the challenges she faced and how she overcame them, Sophia not only demonstrates her expertise but also inspires trust and empathy among those looking to make a similar transition. Crafting an authentic narrative requires honesty and vulnerability, showcasing not just your achievements but also the real person behind the brand. Consistency across platforms. In today's digital world, your personal brand extends across various online platforms, from LinkedIn to Twitter to your personal blog. Consistency in your messaging, visual identity, and tone across these platforms is crucial in building a cohesive brand. For example, Alex, a personal fitness trainer, ensures that his social media profiles, website, and promotional materials all feature consistent branding. This includes the use of specific colors, fonts, and imagery associated with health and vitality, as well as a tone of voice that is motivational and supportive. This consistency helps reinforce Alex's personal brand, making it easily recognizable and reinforcing his professional identity across different channels. Crafting your personal brand is an ongoing journey of self-discovery and communication. It's about identifying what makes you unique, understanding who you want to reach, and telling your story in a way that resonates. By focusing on your unique value proposition, understanding your audience, crafting an authentic narrative, and maintaining consistency across platforms, you can build a personal brand that not only stands out, but also truly represents who you are. Remember, your personal brand is your promise to the world about the value you bring. Make it a powerful one. Chapter 3. The Art of Storytelling Imagine sitting around a campfire, the flames casting shadows as someone begins to tell a story. Instantly, everyone leans in, captivated. This is the power of storytelling. It connects us, holds our attention, and has the power to influence and inspire. In the realm of personal branding, storytelling transforms your narrative from a mere collection of facts into a compelling journey. This chapter explores how to harness storytelling to elevate your personal brand, making your message memorable and impactful. Understanding the elements of a good story. Every memorable story consists of key elements. A relatable protagonist you, a challenge or conflict, a journey of overcoming obstacles, and a resolution that leaves the audience feeling satisfied or inspired. Let's dissect these elements using the story of Elena 
a software developer who transitioned into a successful tech entrepreneur. Elena's story begins with her early interest in technology, setting the stage with a relatable protagonist. The conflict arises when she faces gender bias in the tech industry, a challenge many can empathize with. Her journey involves acquiring new skills, building a network of mentors and allies, and eventually launching her own startup that focuses on creating inclusive tech solutions. The resolution comes with the success of her company and her efforts to mentor young women in tech, providing a satisfying conclusion that inspires her audience. Crafting Your Story Crafting your story involves reflection and strategic selection of details that highlight your journey's unique aspects. Start by identifying your own challenges, the steps you took to overcome them, and how these experiences shaped your professional identity. Consider the story of Michael, a marketing consultant who specializes in turning around struggling brands. His narrative might begin with his passion for understanding consumer behavior, followed by his challenge of facing skepticism in traditional marketing teams. The turning point in his story is his bold decision to implement an innovative, data-driven marketing strategy for a failing product, leading to a dramatic turnaround in sales. By focusing on specific, relatable challenges and detailing his strategic thinking and perseverance, Michael's story not only showcases his expertise but also makes him relatable and memorable to his audience. Using Storytelling to Connect with Your Audience The key to effective storytelling is making your story resonate with your audience. This means understanding their values, challenges, and aspirations and reflecting these in your narrative. Take Zoe, an environmental consultant whose story of transitioning from a high-paying corporate job to founding a nonprofit focused on marine conservation resonates with her audience of environmentally conscious professionals. By sharing her personal motivations, the sacrifices she made, and the impact of her work, Zoe creates an emotional connection with her audience, inspiring them to engage with her cause. The Power of Vulnerability in Storytelling Vulnerability is a powerful tool in storytelling, making your story authentic and relatable. Sharing your doubts, failures, and the lessons learned along the way adds depth to your narrative and humanizes your brand. For instance, David, a seasoned entrepreneur, shares stories of his failed ventures alongside his successes. He talks about the loneliness he felt during tough times, the mistakes he made, and how these experiences taught him resilience and the importance of a supportive community. This vulnerability not only endears David to his audience, but also provides valuable lessons for aspiring entrepreneurs. The art of storytelling is a potent tool in the arsenal of personal branding. By carefully crafting your story, focusing on the elements of a good narrative, connecting with your audience through shared values and emotions, and embracing vulnerability, you can transform your personal brand into a compelling and memorable narrative. Remember, your story is not just what you tell people, it's also what they believe about you based on the experiences, values, and personality you share. Let your story shine brightly, illuminating your path and inspiring others along the way. Chapter 4. Navigating Social Media Imagine social media as a bustling marketplace, where every stall represents a person or brand vying for attention. Amid this chaos, how do you ensure your voice is not just heard, but also resonates with the right audience? This chapter will guide you through the strategic use of social media to amplify your personal brand, engage meaningfully with your community, and turn your online presence into a powerful asset in your self-promotion arsenal. Choosing the right platforms Not all social media platforms are created equal, each serving a different purpose and audience. The key is to select platforms that align with your personal brand and where your target audience is most active. For instance, LinkedIn is indispensable for professionals seeking to connect with peers and industry leaders, making it ideal for sharing industry insights, career achievements, and professional content. Conversely, Instagram offers a visually rich platform perfect for creatives, influencers, and brands looking to showcase their work, lifestyle, or products through compelling imagery and stories. Consider the case of Laura, a freelance graphic designer. She maximizes her use of Instagram to display her portfolio and behind-the-scenes processes, while using LinkedIn to share industry-related articles and network with design firms. 
By choosing the right platforms, Laura efficiently targets her diverse audience segments, enhancing her personal brand's visibility and engagement. Creating engaging content. The cornerstone of a successful social media strategy is content that engages, informs, and adds value to your audience. Content that sparks conversations, whether through insightful articles, compelling visuals, or interactive polls, can significantly increase your visibility and influence on social media. Alex, a nutritionist, utilizes a mix of informative posts detailing the health benefits of various foods, engaging videos of meal prep, and cue and sessions on dietary advice. This variety not only keeps his audience engaged, but also establishes him as a knowledgeable and approachable expert in his field. Building relationships and engaging with your audience. Social media is not just a broadcasting channel. It's a two-way street designed for interaction. Engaging with your audience by responding to comments, participating in discussions, and acknowledging feedback can foster a sense of community and loyalty around your personal brand. Emily, a young entrepreneur, makes it a point to reply to comments on her posts, engages with her followers' content, and occasionally features user-generated content on her profile. This active engagement strategy has helped her build a tight-knit online community that supports her business and spreads the word about her brand organically. Leveraging analytics for growth. To refine your social media strategy and ensure your efforts align with your personal branding goals, it's crucial to understand the impact of your content. Most social media platforms offer analytics tools that provide insights into your content's performance, audience demographics, and engagement metrics. John, a real estate agent, regularly reviews his social media analytics to understand which types of content generate the most engagement and leads. This data-driven approach allows him to adjust his content strategy, focusing more on high-performing content types like virtual home tours and market analysis, thus optimizing his social media presence for better results. Navigating social media effectively requires a strategic approach that aligns with your personal brand and audience's preferences. By selecting the right platforms, creating engaging content, building relationships with your audience, and leveraging analytics for insights, you can transform your social media presence into a dynamic extension of your personal brand. Remember, consistency and authenticity are key. As you share your journey, insights, and successes, you'll not only grow your following but also cement your reputation as a thought leader in your field. Let your social media channels be the vibrant market stalls that attract and delight, turning passers-by into loyal supporters of your brand. Chapter 5. Networking with Purpose Imagine you're at a crossroads in a vast network of roads, each path representing a potential connection that can lead you to new opportunities, insights, and growth. Networking, in the landscape of professional development, is about choosing your paths wisely cultivating relationships that are both meaningful and mutually beneficial. This chapter is dedicated to mastering the art of networking with purpose, transforming casual connections into a robust, supportive professional network. The Power of Intentional Connections Networking should be more than just collecting business cards. It's about creating intentional connections that add value. It's crucial to approach networking with a clear understanding of your goals and the types of relationships that can help you achieve them. Consider the story of Sophia, who transitioned from a corporate job to launching her own startup. Sophia knew she needed advice, funding, and industry contacts. She attended industry meetups, joined online forums, and reached out to potential mentors with specific questions and requests for guidance. By focusing on building connections that aligned with her immediate needs, Sophia was able to gather a wealth of resources and support for her new venture. Quality over quantity. In the realm of networking, the depth of your connections often matters more than the breadth. A smaller circle of well-cultivated relationships can be more beneficial than a vast network of superficial contacts. James, a freelance photographer, focused on building strong relationships with a select few clients and fellow photographers. He would regularly check in with them, offer help on projects, and share opportunities. 
This approach not only earned him repeat business, but also led to valuable referrals that expanded his client base organically, demonstrating the impact of prioritizing quality over quantity in your network. Giving back. One of the most overlooked aspects of networking is the importance of giving back. Offering your help, sharing your knowledge, or connecting people within your network not only strengthens your relationships but also establishes you as a valuable and generous member of your community. Maria, an experienced web developer, regularly volunteers at coding boot camps and offers free webinars on advanced coding techniques. This not only helps her give back to the community that supported her early in her career, but also positions her as an expert and go-to resource in her field, attracting clients and collaborators who value her expertise and generosity. Utilizing digital platforms for networking. In today's digital age, networking isn't confined to conferences and meetups. Online platforms like LinkedIn, Twitter, and industry-specific forums provide powerful tools for connecting with peers, mentors, and industry leaders across the globe. David, an aspiring writer, used Twitter to connect with authors, editors, and literary agents by engaging in conversations, sharing his writing process, and supporting others' work. Over time, these connections led to guest blogging opportunities, valuable feedback on his work, and eventually, a connection to a literary agent. David's experience underscores the potential of digital platforms to extend your networking reach beyond geographical limitations. Networking with purpose is about strategically building and nurturing relationships that are mutually beneficial. By focusing on intentional connections, prioritizing quality over quantity, giving back to your community, and leveraging digital platforms, you can develop a supportive network that will propel you toward your professional goals. Remember, networking is a two-way street. The more you invest in your relationships, the more you will gain in return. As you journey through the vast network of professional connections, let your purpose guide you turning chance encounters into meaningful partnerships that support your growth and success. Chapter 6. Demonstrating Value Picture yourself as a lighthouse, not just any lighthouse, but one uniquely positioned to guide ships through treacherous waters to safety. In the professional world, demonstrating your value is akin to shining your light brightly, guiding your career and opportunities towards you. It's about showing, not just telling, what you bring to the table. This chapter explores how to effectively demonstrate your value to peers, superiors, and the industry at large, ensuring that your contributions are recognized and valued. Delivering Exceptional Results The cornerstone of demonstrating value is the quality of your work. It's about going beyond expectations and delivering results that speak volumes about your capabilities. Consider Anna, a project manager known for her meticulous planning and execution. On a high-stakes project, faced with tight deadlines and complex challenges, Anna led her team to deliver not just on time, but with innovations that saved the company money and improved operational efficiency. Her ability to consistently deliver exceptional results solidified her reputation as a valuable asset to her organization. Sharing Successes and Insights Visibility is key to ensuring your value is recognized. It's not enough to deliver great work. You need to share your successes and the insights gained from your experiences. Mark, a software developer, regularly writes blog posts about his problem-solving techniques on challenging projects and shares these insights on LinkedIn and in internal company newsletters. By doing so, he doesn't just highlight his own achievements, but also contributes to the growth of his peers, positioning himself as a thought leader within his technical community. Volunteering for Leadership Roles Taking on leadership roles, even in a volunteer capacity, can significantly demonstrate your value and commitment to your field. Leadership roles allow you to showcase your ability to manage projects, lead teams, and drive initiatives forward. Sarah, an environmental scientist, volunteered to lead a cross-functional team tasked with developing a company-wide sustainability initiative. This role enabled her to demonstrate her leadership skills, innovative thinking, and commitment to corporate social responsibility, enhancing her visibility and value within the company. Mentoring others. Mentoring is a powerful way to demonstrate value, showcasing not just your expertise, but also your willingness to invest in the growth and development of others. 
By mentoring, you not only contribute to the success of your mentees, but also reinforce your own knowledge and skills. David, a seasoned marketing executive, dedicates time to mentor young professionals in his field. Through one-on-one -on -one sessions, he shares his knowledge, provides guidance on career development, and helps them navigate challenges, thereby enriching the professional community and cementing his role as a valued leader and mentor. Engaging with your industry Engagement with your broader industry can take many forms, from speaking at conferences to contributing to professional journals or participating in industry associations. This type of engagement demonstrates your commitment to your field and your willingness to contribute to its advancement. Emily, a cybersecurity expert, regularly speaks at industry conferences and participates in panels discussing emerging threats and solutions. Her active engagement not only showcases her expertise, but also keeps her at the forefront of her field, recognized by peers and leading organizations alike. Demonstrating your value in the professional world is about shining your light in a way that guides opportunities and recognition your way. It's a multifaceted approach that involves not only excelling in your work, but also sharing your successes, taking on leadership roles, mentoring others, and engaging with your industry. By adopting these strategies, you ensure that your contributions are not just seen, but are also valued and sought after, like a lighthouse guiding ships through the night. Chapter 7 Overcoming Challenges Embarking on the journey of self-promotion and brand building is akin to setting sail on the open sea. You're bound to encounter storms and rough waters along the way. These challenges, whether they come in the form of self-doubt, external criticism, or the fine line between confidence and arrogance, can either capsize your boat or strengthen your resolve. This chapter navigates through these turbulent waters, providing strategies and insights to not only face these challenges head-on, but to emerge stronger and more resilient. Battling Imposter Syndrome Imposter syndrome, the feeling of being a fraud despite evident success, plagues many professionals. It's like an anchor, weighing you down with self-doubt. Lisa, an accomplished software engineer, often felt she didn't deserve her achievements. She overcame this by keeping a success journal, documenting her accomplishments, positive feedback, and the challenges she overcame. This tangible reminder of her worth helped Lisa anchor herself in reality, boosting her confidence and enabling her to share her achievements without feeling undeserving. Navigating Criticism and Rejection Criticism and rejection are inevitable when you put yourself out there. They can be harsh waves trying to push you off course. However, they also offer opportunities for growth and learning. James, an aspiring author, faced multiple rejections from publishers. Instead of letting this demoralize him, he sought constructive feedback, using it to improve his manuscripts. When he finally got published, the earlier criticism had honed his writing to appeal to a broader audience, making his success even sweeter. Maintaining Authenticity As you promote yourself and your brand, the challenge is to remain true to your values and not lose yourself in the process. Authenticity is your compass, guiding you through the sea of self-promotion. Sarah, a lifestyle blogger, faced pressure to portray an idealized version of her life. She chose instead to share her genuine experiences, including the struggles. This authenticity resonated with her audience, strengthening her brand more than any curated image could. Balancing Confidence with Humility the line between confidence and arrogance is thin but crucial. Confidence invites others to believe in your abilities, while arrogance can push them away. Tom, a young entrepreneur, learned this the hard way after feedback from his team. He began to focus on listening more and acknowledging the contributions of others, which not only improved his relationships, but also led to better collaboration and success for his startup. The journey of building and promoting your personal brand is filled with challenges, but each obstacle offers a chance to learn, grow, and refine your approach. By facing imposter syndrome with tangible reminders of your success, viewing criticism as a growth opportunity, staying true to your authentic self, and balancing confidence with humility, you can navigate the complex waters of self-promotion. Remember, the goal isn't to avoid the storms, but to learn how to sail through them, using each challenge as an opportunity to strengthen your resolve and enhance your brand.
like a seasoned sailor, you will emerge from these experiences not only more resilient but also more adept at charting your course toward personal and professional fulfillment. Chapter 8. Maintaining Your Brand Imagine your personal brand as a garden. It's vibrant, full of life, and reflective of the care you've put into it. However, without ongoing attention, the most beautiful gardens can wilt. Similarly, your personal brand requires consistent nurturing to remain relevant, appealing, and effective. In this chapter, we explore strategies for maintaining and evolving your brand, ensuring it continues to flourish in the ever-changing professional landscape. Regularly Assessing Your Brand The first step in maintaining your brand is regular assessment. It's like periodically checking the health of your garden's soil and plants. Elena, a corporate strategist, sets aside time every quarter to review her online presence, assess the alignment of her current projects with her personal brand, and identify areas for improvement. She looks for discrepancies between her intended brand message and the perception others may have, based on recent interactions and feedback. This disciplined approach ensures her brand remains consistent and true to her evolving professional goals. Adapting to Changes and Trends Just as gardens must adapt to changing seasons, your personal brand must adapt to shifts in your industry and the broader professional environment. Staying informed about trends and being flexible enough to pivot your focus or messaging can keep your brand relevant. Consider the story of Marcus, a graphic designer who specialized in print media. As the world moved increasingly online, Marcus recognized the need to evolve. He upskilled in digital design and started sharing his new expertise through online portfolios and social media, effectively transitioning his brand to meet market demand. This adaptability not only maintained his brand's relevance, but also expanded his client base. Engaging with your community a garden thrives with the exchange of seeds and plants among gardeners. Similarly, your brand grows through engagement with your professional community. Sharing knowledge, offering support, and collaborating on projects can reinforce your brand's value and keep it vibrant. Sarah, a software developer, regularly contributes to open-source projects and participates in coding forums. Through these activities, she not only demonstrates her skills and commitment to her craft, but also stays engaged with the latest industry challenges and solutions, keeping her brand at the forefront of her field. Investing in continuous learning. The most captivating gardens are those that introduce new and exotic plants, continually surprising and delighting onlookers. Likewise, investing in continuous learning can add new dimensions to your brand, making it more dynamic and attractive. Alex, a marketing professional, commits to learning one new skill each year, whether it's a new digital marketing tool, a foreign language, or a course on public speaking. This commitment to growth not only enriches his personal brand, but also positions him as a lifelong learner, a trait highly valued in today's fast-paced professional world. Maintaining your personal brand is an ongoing process of assessment, adaptation, engagement, and learning. By regularly nurturing your brand, you ensure it remains healthy, vibrant, and reflective of your current professional path. Like a well-tended garden, a well-maintained personal brand can become a source of continuous growth, opportunity, and fulfillment. Keep tending to your garden with care and watch as it flourishes, attracting the admiration and interest of those who pass by. Conclusion as we draw the curtains on this journey through the landscapes of self-promotion and the crafting of your personal brand, it's essential to pause and reflect on the ground we've traversed together. How to promote your personal brand was conceived not just as a guide, but as a companion in your quest to illuminate the essence of who you are in the professional realm. Each chapter, a beacon, was designed to light your path, revealing the nuances of visibility, authenticity, and the artful dance of showcasing your unique value to the world. We've delved into the heart of what makes a personal brand not just seen but felt, not just heard but listened to. From identifying your unique value proposition, mastering the art of storytelling, to engaging with the digital world and beyond, the journey has been one of deep introspection and bold action. It's been about finding your voice in the cacophony, about standing firm in your worth, and about moving with purpose and passion. 
Yet, as we reach the end, it's crucial to recognize that this is not a conclusion but a commencement. The true essence of promoting your personal brand lies not in the completion of these chapters, but in the continuous journey of growth, learning, and adaptation. The world is ever-changing, and so are you. Your personal brand is a living, breathing entity that evolves as you do, reflecting your journey, your values, and your aspirations. So, as you step forth from this moment, carry with you the knowledge that your personal brand is your legacy. It's the story that precedes you and remains long after you've left the room. It's the imprint you leave on every person you meet, every project you embark on, and every challenge you overcome. Let your personal brand be a testament to your resilience, a mirror of your authenticity, and a beacon for those who seek inspiration. Remember, in the vast expanse of the professional world, where every individual is a star, your light is unique. Shine boldly, shine brightly, and let the world marvel at the constellation of your making. Your journey of self-promotion does not end here, it simply evolves. May you walk forward with confidence, armed with the tools and insights to navigate your path. Stand tall, for you are a beacon of your own making, a force to be reckoned with, a brand that is truly, profoundly, unmistakably you.